sit down and catch you guys up on some stuff. I haven't done this in a while and I feel like a lot of things have been changing recently in my life and I just want you guys caught up to date on everything. <laughs> I was thinking about my life even at the beginning of this year and me and who I am as a person and I feel like I genuinely have changed so much. I feel like I hit this like whatever it is and I've just been exponentially growing. So here's some things that are a little bit different in my life. I am a consistent gym goer. I've been going to the gym six days a week for almost three whole months. I would love to make a video talking about my advice and my experience so far. I don't know what changed this time. I actually stayed committed and I have now dedicated myself to just living a healthier lifestyle because I want to live long and I want to have energy and I want to feel good. Two, I feel like I've never been more dedicated to my faith and growing my relationship with Jesus. I was still like trying to understand things and you know getting crap out of my head that I used to believe and putting in the good stuff and letting God transform me and this is gonna be happening throughout my entire life I feel like this last three months have been insane as far as that goes my passion for it my love for it I just want that to be my entire life and find a way to help people know Jesus the way that I do I've actually made new friends have friends outside of the friend group that I met when I moved here and I never understood how to make friends as an adult but somehow I have a Accomplished that as far as divorce and everything I feel like the divorce getting finalized really like brought me a lot of closure that I didn't even know that I needed and is helping me move move forward in so many different ways in my life the attachment that I still had which was small is you know going away and actually like moving on in that area in my life has been crazy and like like I said there's just so many things that are happening at once that I feel like I've hit this exponential growth and I just want to share it with you guys because I'm so happy and I don't always get to tell you about all this stuff and all of my other videos that I'm making and now for like the real topic of this video I have talked about this a little bit but I just wanted to let everyone know that I have decided to permanently make Texas my home specifically the area where I live right now which is like right outside of Houston and I'm so so excited to start this journey in my life. I mean, I guess I'm not starting it because I'm already here, but I have decided to sell my house in Missouri and buy a house here. <coughs> I absolutely love it here. The people that I've met here, the things that have happened in my life here, my life has been completely changed. Living here, I actually have friends, have like a church family that I love. I'm very involved in stuff here. I literally have things that I go to like almost every night of the week and it's insane. I never thought I would be in this position. When I was like 18, 19 years old, I had no friends. I never had any activities to go to. I was just always at my house, bored, depressed, and too anxious to go anywhere to be honest. And my life has just changed so much this past year. Thanks to God, I'll go away to him. So that means that I will be selling my house in Missouri and buying a house here in Texas. I'm hoping by the end of the year. So I'll be able to sell my house in Missouri as soon as October, which kind of sucks. I wish I could sell it sooner, but I do have people in there on a lease. I'm not just gonna kick them out, you know? They signed a lease to be there till October, so I will sell my house in October. The reason I decided to sell the house is basically when I bought the house, it was right before the huge like market exploded of housing, if you don't know much about it. Basically, houses have gone up like an insane amount of money and it's really competitive to be able to buy a house because there's not enough houses for people to buy who want houses. Therefore, my house is worth a lot more money than when I bought it. I need a down payment. I am not very good at saving money. I'm trying to get better at it. I've been so good the last couple of months as I'm preparing for this saving money, but I don't have enough for a down payment. And so I decided that I wanna sell my house in Missouri that I can use that money to buy a house here, which is typically how people do things if they move. The reason I didn't do that originally is because I was just renting at apartments and didn't know where I permanently wanted to live forever. And I thought I was gonna move back to Missouri so I decided to rent it out which was amazing because when I rent out my house obviously I charge more for rent than my mortgage is worth so I can make money and I make a couple extra hundred bucks a month and then I can put that towards my rent wherever I'm living because rent is always more expensive than a mortgage for like the same size some other reasons that I decided I want to sell my house in Missouri and these are like just petty reasons because it really I feel like is a privilege to be able to own a house and rent it out but when things break, I have to pay for it. Recently, my water heater broke in Missouri. Luckily, my brother, he's amazing. He helped me get it like a lot cheaper than it should have been by offering his own labor to help with it. And spent a couple hours with the plumber helping him and that was just amazing. 
but when things break it's up to me I am the one that's responsible for it and I don't even live there and I really don't think this would be that big of a deal if it was somewhere that I could go over there and help and check it out but having to have my brother do it or whoever's there and I will say I do pay my brother monthly to manage my house so he collects the rent for me he finds the renters he writes up the lease and all that stuff for me and that's amazing I love him for doing that and he gets a little extra money every month and it, it's worked out really great but I would prefer that if I'm gonna have a house and rent it out like if I buy a house here in Texas and maybe one day I could afford another one to rent out then I think it would be fine but having it all the way in Missouri seems really stressful to me and it's just like Right now, I feel like I'm not wanting that. I just want to own a house and live in it and make a forever home, or at least like five, 10 year home. We'll see what happens. But I just, I hate renting. I would love to be able to paint my walls and hang things up knowing that I don't have to move when my lease is up and all of that. And know that I'm secured in my mortgage rate because in a rental place, when your lease is up, they can up the rent every single time. Whereas a mortgage, your bank can't just up your mortgage on you. There's pros and cons to renting and owning. Um, but I prefer to be an owner. I come from a family of realtors. I literally have five family members who are realtors and growing up my dad's a realtor and my mom would help him a lot. They built like a ton of homes and sold them and they did renting out apartments. Like I grew up on this stuff and so owning for me has always been the goal. Um, I felt really lucky to be able to buy a house in Missouri as young as I was and that had a lot to do with my dad helping me on all the stuff that I didn't understand and being able to save money from YouTube all through high school and having no bills like if you have no bills and you're making a consistent income it's easy to save money now it's not so easy because I have to pay for literally everything anything that happens obviously I'm an adult now I'm financially on my own I have to pay for everything a little different now <laughs> But luckily I made a great investment of buying a home and I didn't know the market was gonna explode. In fact, when I bought the home, my dad was like, you're paying too much for what this is. But it was newly remodeled, it was exactly what I wanted and I decided to go for it anyway. And it turns out it was the best investment I could have possibly made, but honestly, no one could have predicted that. No one could have predicted, you know, COVID happening. No one could predict the housing market exploding how it is. So I feel extremely, extremely lucky and it's just amazing to be in this position. But that being said, it's still hard to get approved for a loan when you're self-employed. So I'm kind of working on that. So the next few steps is getting pre-approved for a loan, which is a whole process. I'm working on it right now. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm really hoping things work out well. Um, I have good credit. I've always stayed really consistent with keeping good credit, so I should be good there. And then getting a down payment, so that will be from selling my house. I'll get a really good chunk of money from that that I can use for a down payment. So my renters will move out in October October, and that's when I'll sell the house and I'll start looking for houses here hopefully around the same time like anywhere from like August September October ish and my goal is to own a house by the end of the year here in Texas when I originally bought my house in Missouri I thought I would be there for five to ten years but I also thought I was going to be married and starting a family I never would have guessed that I would leave my faith get a divorce <laughs> um, have a lot of drama happen that I don't really want to live in that area anymore when I moved to Utah I started renting out my house because I thought I would move back to Missouri didn't end up happening obviously and I don't really ever want to live in Missouri I don't really have anything against Missouri and I love the city that I live in I mean it's my hometown I always have a little special place in my heart I love the lake I miss the lake so much but I think I'm just better off being um, a good distance away from family and well my ex and his whole family lives there too so but I'm excited for this next step in my life and I have a lot of reasons why I want to live here that I'll maybe get into another time. I have more things that I that's new that I want to talk to you guys about but it'll just have to wait. I'm doing a little bit at a time. I've been a lot more private about my life based on the last couple years and how that didn't work out being so public. I've decided to be a little bit more private and I think it's going pretty well but anyway I'm rambling. Basically the whole point of this video is to say I'm selling my house, why I'm selling my house, and kind of that process into buying a house here in Texas. Please wish me luck because it is going to be difficult. All of my help, my realtor family lives in Missouri, so I'm kind of somewhat on my own. They can still help a little bit. It's still hard. It is really hard to buy a house. It can be really stressful. A lot of like little legal things and stuff like that, it can just be hard. So please wish me luck. I'm hoping that I can buy it by the end of the year. And if I do, guess what that means for us? It's my favorite. I love when YouTubers move and I love moving for this purpose. 
we'll have moving vlogs, we'll have house shopping vlogs, we'll have decorating vlogs, we'll have another house to home series. That was my favorite series I ever did where I like transformed just like a basic standard house into, which it was a really nice house. It wasn't basic standard, it was really nice. But little three bedroom, two bathroom remodeled, but then made it like personalized and kind of put some paint on the walls and change things up to be me. And I love that because that is what makes a house into a home and you can't do that in an apartment. Y'all aren't even ready for how hype these fall vlogs are gonna be because it's also gonna be moving time and house shopping vlogs, are you kidding? That's my favorite. I'm so excited too because when I bought my house in Missouri, I found the house on Zillow and there were no houses that were like it. And so I didn't even ask my dad to like show me any houses because he knew I was looking to buy a house. I was like, I need this house. And the guy decided not to sell it and somehow I still found it. And then I literally had to convince him to sell it to me. So it was quite the process, but I never went house shopping. It was the only house I looked at and I just fell in love with it. But this time around, I want to look at like 4,000 houses. Stay tuned. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.